Oh, what's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more Astro Colony. So, in the last episode, we started working on some automation of our further along production items. So, things like the plates and the wires and stuff like that. And I started this setup here, however, it's not working. It's not working for what I need, and we're gonna have to redo this. Um, just because like the systems and the way that this game is working and the way that things work, it's just not working for me, if that makes sense. So um, we're gonna redo some things here. We're gonna re basically relay out everything. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna try things a little bit differently. And the reason for that is because this this warehouse doesn't work as a splitter. So everything is always gonna come out of one output. And it's the same with this. Like you can see nothing's coming out of here because everything's coming out of this guy. And then what that's doing is making it so this machine over here isn't working, so it's not doing anything. And then um, if I need additional plates for say this guy, I don't have any because they're on here or they're all split off into here. So we're gonna redo this. We're gonna make this a little bit better. And uh, yeah, hopefully have a good time in the process. But thank you all so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoy. If you do like, subscribe, all the fun things. And let's go ahead, let's start. So first thing I'm gonna start with, the <laughs> first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe everything. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna just uh, delete everything that I've done here and I'm gonna take everything out of these warehouses and We're just gonna start from a clean slate because that's just I think it's just gonna be easier to do it that way So I'm gonna go ahead and just get delete happy here. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna delete belts first and Tubes and then all that fun stuff All right, so step one of clearing everything has been accomplished everything's cleared out everything's it's good to go um, so I think we could still manage to have this one storage as an input. However, I think we need to adjust it a little bit still because I don't like, um, these are blocking a lot of what we have to access. Uh, and I don't like that. So I want to go ahead and get that kind of fixed up now and then, uh, get that addressed immediately. Oh, let's grab that as well. And then let's see. So if we grab this guy and I think if I'm not mistaken, we should actually be able to put this there and there and swap the inputs and outputs on these. And we should be able to go ahead and just bring the pipes over by one. So I'll delete these, bring them over by one and then input there. That should work. And then that'll give us these to mess with as well. So, um, actually you know what hold on a second swap conveyor imports because we're gonna need a lot more output uh oh 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 snap this will work great i think this will work fantastically um holy moly my inventory is huge <laughs> okay so here and there swap that swap that and then one belt going in that'll work that should do it Put that there that should go into there that should go into there those are going to split the same thing but that should work okay now it's going to take a little bit because it's going to have to get cleared out and stuff but uh that sh that should work that should actually work just fine and then this is going to just be holding everything that we have so let's go ahead and let's do this let me grab my inventory um uh, let's sort everything merge items Let's go ahead and drop off all of the ingots. So that would all be coming in raw. Uh, and so with that, we should not have any ice being brought in here yet. So from there, this is where everything's gonna get redone because what we need to do is we need to go item by item, I think, and sort swap, sort store and transport and all that fun stuff. So we need to figure out every item where we need it to go. So I think we essentially need to have a belt that's going to have gold copper and iron let it go out and then we need to have a gold filter iron filter and copper filter which will then spread it and i th i think we're going to split it into actually do we really need bars in storage for any reason i don't feel like we need those in storage for any reason i mean like are we i mean some things require bars right I mean, some things require bars, but I guess we could always just go and grab them. So yeah, that's actually not going to be a huge deal. Um, but what we're going to need to do is screws is going to be on a belt stored, like stored and then split accordingly. And what we need to do is we need to figure out all the machines that we need to split and store everything. So um, whilst we're about to start rebuilding everything here, let's look at what we're getting closer. So we have the hanger. 
biology so carbon fiber let's get that unlocked we probably should get science unlocked a hatch doors i'm not gonna mess with agriculture yet Ooh, advanced logistics would be super nice um, advanced constructor what do we need for that we need four of those okay and then what are we missing for that we are missing the rods okay so let's go ahead and split those some in here we'll let the astronaut start working on that uh with agriculture you can satisfy the hunger much easier yes we'll get into food production here shortly how's everything looking good here we have three there we have 20 there okay so we're gonna have to get into agriculture agriculture is gonna be i think a separate wing <laughs> i have no idea all right man i really wish i had the advanced stuff unlocked i'm not gonna lie because with the advanced stuff unlocked it's going to kind of change our routing systems a little bit okay we're about to get the advanced constructor so we're gonna go ahead and just wait for that to get along because might as we we might as well just set it up to use the advanced constructor constructor right away now the other advanced machine that we could end up getting uh, we don't have a circular saw yet so i'm not really worried about that advanced engines not worried about any of those actually do we even have any other advanced versions of what we already have um the advanced manufacturer okay advanced constructor so we're gonna go ahead and get that guy going as well but the advanced manufacturer where is the advanced manufacturer at oh 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 it's way up in here and then that also gives us a new requirement of some DNA science. Okay, we're not getting that one for a while. All right, scratch the idea of that one. So let's look at our advanced constructor here because it should be able to do everything that regular constructor can do except advanced. <laughs> so let's see what we're going to do here is I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have this like that and then we're just going to set another one I'm, i think we're just going to have two i think two of each machine might be okay so what are you capable of doing um basically everything so for the sake of this machine we want all bars okay so i'd like to get aluminum bars in here as well is there even a point to have two of these i don't even know I honestly don't even think there's a, a point to have two of them. Like, cause I mean, these smelters are, are keeping up no problem. Like they're ha not having an issue. I don't think there's an issue. I don't think there's a reason to have two. I'm not going to have two. We're not going to have two. We're just going to have the one. I just don't I don't feel like I, I you know what I don't think this is that type of game I don't think we need a bunch of one machine in order to to make stuff I don't think I don't think it's necessary so aluminum plates though I'd like to get aluminum plates unlocked metallurgy aluminum plates okay so let's get that going okay so what we're gonna do here is we need to send all of the bars through this machine so we need iron copper gold and then aluminum eventually so what we need to do is we need to have an output on here We need iron, copper, gold, and aluminum. That's going to be our output. Our output is going to go from here to here. And I don't feel the need to necessarily have this split off for any reason. I don't think there's going to be a reason to have any kind of storage. So let's go ahead. You know what? This is going to end up looking a lot like my other base. <laughs> it's going to look like a lot like my other base, which is okay. It's absolutely fine. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put this here. Actually, maybe put that there. I'm trying to think what's going to look the best. Yeah, that'll work. We'll just do that. And then I'll go ahead and switch those like that. We're going to get our pipe. And I want these basically going straight down. I missed it. Is it right here? Hey! Okay, so that's going to send those items into there. Easy peasy. 
and that one honestly should have no problem keeping up so it's gonna drop all of these items into there um and there we go now we just we just got it we just got the metallurgy unlocked fantastic that's such a good feeling so let's go ahead and get the belt going let's let it do this thing man you know i really would like to get the advanced belts but that's fine we'll figure that out later so that is going to filter out everything that's going to get rid of all of these bars you know what let's just help this thing along shall we perfect hey 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 hey, hey. don't hit me <laughs> so we got all our bars in here those are going to make plates perfect so now what i want to do is i want to output plates somewhere but what i'm thinking we're going to do is i think we're going to go old school i think we're going to go back back to the old days here of having there's no reason for storage there's no reason to have this go into a storage thing and then into another machine it might as well just travel straight into the other machine uh, in in all honesty so these plates might as well well actually there might be a little bit of a reason for that for for a storage thing and that's just to, why is that there that's kind of to act as a buffer you know um, and then let's go ahead and let's get this deleted. Let's get a uh, power line ran to that. Okay, so that can do its thing. It's going to start making everything. Fantastic. So we need to output this somewhere and then input it and then output it and then input it and then output it. Okay, let me play with this and I'll, I'll let me let me come up with something here. All right, so the next machine that we have in line, right? Okay, so we have our advanced constructor. Uh, we've got our smelters, advanced smelter constructor. Uh, what we need next is our manufacturer. So the manufacturer needs to have something. Let's just set this down here and let's just kind of look. What do, we, what do we have here? What do we have on the recipe list? So these plates can be turned into wires and then we can also do screws into gears. And then we can also do electronic parts into motherboards eventually. But for the sake of now, we can't really do any of that. And nothing else requires wire. So what I'm thinking is we could basically directly output all of these into this machine and let it make everything that it needs to. And then what we can do from there Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna do some shenanigans here. Um, I put in this belt here. We have a belt here that goes to this guy, that goes to a tube, that goes up to here. This one warehouse is going to be our um, storage of like crafted items that we're not gonna process further. So what I wanna do here, this is gonna be interesting to say the least. Um, I know for a fact that we do need iron plates in order to you know what actually let me go ahead and grab this as the next stage and let me just kind of see what we got here so for our next stage we have iron plates and carbon to make rods so i need some of those plates in order to make rods um actually need quite a few of those plates in order to make rods and this is also what's making plates so let's go ahead and let's move this guy i think we're gonna set it over here it would make sense to have this really relatively close to this guy i think and then this is gonna be in charge of making rods out of plates and carbon so we need to bypass carbon into this machine and we need to get plates from here to here as well but we also need plates in here and we also need some plates up in here because that's what i use for base building like basically everything so what we're going to do in here is we're going to throw a three-way splitter and we're going to go something like this and this is only going to be for splitting the plates So we're going to have a straight. Hmm. Okay, we're going to do that a little bit different. Okay, so there we go. We have this. So it's going to split the plates, split there, split forward, and split into here. 
Now, in all actuality, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to split it again. And the reason for that is because I don't need that many plates going to uh, I don't need that many plates going to storage. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to throw another splitter on there. Which is going to then reduce. So a third of all plates would be going to storage. However, 50% of that third is then going to go back into this to be made into wire. Unless we should have it being made into rods. Actually, we should have it being made into rods because rods are used a lot more than wire. Yeah, that's that would make a little bit more sense. So um, this way, this direction is going to be a zero. So that's going to send more in here to in here to make rods. Okay, cool. That looks good. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab this. Actually, do I really need to do that? I don't think so. What is the output of here going to be? Output of here is going to be rods. Yeah, you know what? I am going to do this. I'm actually going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to do this. And I know it might look crazy, but this will give us a little bit of verticality. Like that. Okay. So then I can have this come out here and I can do what I need to with that. Okay, so that looks good. Now what I need to do here also is we need to throw a filter on there. This filter is going to filter out just those because I just want those being filtered out for that. Um, and then as far as other plates, do we want... Yeah, we do need copper and gold. I don't think we need gold plates for anything, but we do need copper. Ooh, we might need aluminum plates and whatnots as well. Which makes me think that this actually needs to be a little bit different. Okay, I think I got this figured out now. <laughs> it was a little complicated, but it actually wasn't super complicated, I think. So essentially what we're going to do here is let's go ahead and grab this. Grab those. And hold on, let me make sure this is all we're making. We're only making those. Okay, cool. That looks good. Let's go ahead and grab that. Grab that. Okay, so what's going to happen here? Oh, snap. Those are full. You know what? Let me get rid of these. Okay. So essentially what's happening here all items are coming out of this they're going to be split to start with 50 percent this way 50 percent that way actually hold on i do a zero on that so it doesn't even try uh 50 this way 50 this way and then it goes to here and then it does 50 this way 50 straight it is not pushing anything this direction and then we hit up here and then it's going to split these iron plates again to go back onto this belt over here so that means that this is only going to be making this is only going to be getting iron plates and it's only going to be getting some. And then we should also not have a, a super huge amount of. We shouldn't have a super huge amount of stuff going anywhere else either. Right now it's just iron plates. Holy moly. I don't know that these belts are going to keep up. Um, let's do this. That might help a little bit. I don't even know. It's not helping because I just blocked that belt now. Ah, <laughs> darn it. I could I mean, I could have that come out here and then here and then... Uh, we need faster belts. That's fine. We'll get faster belts eventually. Uh, actually, did we get faster belts already? Uh, we could totally work towards it. We only need one more chemistry science points. Hold on. What do we need for that point? Probably... Some more rods. So let's throw some rods in here. And maybe get some advanced spells. Okay. So that is sending plates into here. This is going to then make, let's verify, wire out of those three items. Oh, snap. You're not doing anything with aluminum plates yet. Um, Aluminum plate, gold plate. Mm, maybe you will eventually. Maybe the advanced one will do something with aluminum plates. So we'll just leave it for now. That's fine. Okay, so that's hooked up. That's hooked up. This is hooked up onto that belt. So now we need this to be making rods. So for rods, we need carbon. 
Hey, we got advanced logistics. Okay. So I need to pull carbon out of here now. So let's pull carbon from this side. Then do this and get this bad boy down in here. All right. So carbon is now coming in as well. Okay. So let's get this going to go in here into this fantastic okay so let's go ahead and delete this we'll go ahead and get this powered up as well get to start producing stuff i want to get producing as much as i can as fast as i can because we need all of the products we can get so let's grab this let's grab that it should be right there looks good and we're actually going to hide some of this too i think all right so that's good that's good that's going to work on making rods. Now, rods. Oh, the wonderful rods. The wonderful, wonderful rods indeed. Rods are made in here to make screws. So what we could do is we could loop back into this input here. The rods. Which could then give us screws. But then I need to put a I need to put a thing on here for screws. Wait, do screws go in here for any reason? Screws do go in here. Uh, for gears. So actually we could just add if we just added the screws in here like that and added them in here like that that would still send some into storage. I would send some there. That would actually work fantastically. And then we actually need carbon as well. So we can get carbon fiber in here. So what I actually need to do is I need to throw a splitter on here. We need to have a belt in here. We need to have this belt coming back around into this guy. Oh my gosh. We got all kinds of things to do here. So let's do this. Let's grab our belt. And I'm trying to do this in a way that I'm making sure that I'm like staying relatively simple. I'm trying to keep it simple. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to actually split. We need to split carbon. We need to split it like three ways, to be honest, because I don't think I need that much carbon fiber. I need more rods than anything. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Let's do this. Let's grab ourselves a belt. I'm not going to hook up that one yet because I don't want to hook up that one yet. Okay, so output of here is going to be rods. It's going to go in here. Split 50% straight, 50% this way. Again, 50% straight, 50% this way. Back onto this belt, back around here. This is going to take it over here. This is going to turn it into screws. Steel screws. So that should work. And then we'll get whatever percentage that is. I don't know what's 50% of 50%, 25%, I guess, maybe on this belt right here, which will then continue on into our uh, storage here, which will then allow us to keep some in our inventory just in case we need to build anything. Uh, but then it should go into here. Now we need to do the same thing with carbon. Uh, should we go ahead? Let's go ahead and let the, let's just let this thing out. Shall we? Um, because this machine is not making anything other than rods. So let's go ahead and let that bad boy out. Um, I want to see how this works. So we've got one, that one's going to go that way. That one's going to go that way. That one's going to go back onto there, back onto there, back onto there, back on there. Okay. Perfect. See, I like that. That works out just wonderfully. Now, because we're getting some rods into storage, but we're getting most rods into here, which is what I need. Because I will always need some rods, but I'm probably going to need more screws than anything. I think. You know what? Actually, I don't know. I do need a lot of rods right now. Let's go ahead and just get rid of that one. Let's just do 50 50 for now. Yeah, we'll just do 50 50 for now. And then as far as this goes, let's just uh, let's just throw a 50 50 on this bad boy as well. I think that'll probably be good. And if for some reason we're lacking on carbon, we could do a front thing here. You know what, though? We're always going to need rods. We need to prioritize rods over everything. So let's actually do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and do uh, a one on here. So that way, two thirds go here, one third goes on here. Okay, that'll work. And then we can also get, let's go ahead and mark up carbon fiber. And then, oh shoot, hold on. Stop making stuff. Um, Where am I sending carbon fiber to? Carbon fiber needs to be sent this way and I can't add any more. I can't add another thing. 
five reached. Okay, so I set up a filter block on here. So let's actually go and turn this back on. I set up a filter block on there. So only the things that we already have sorted are going through there. But I need to get carbon fiber out of there and thrown somewhere. Maybe we should just leave carbon fiber in here for now because I really don't know what I'm going to do with it anyways. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know what we're doing with it <laughs> anyways. So we'll just let it do its thing. Okay, so that's all looking fine. We've got this all done. We've got rods being made. We've got all the plates being made. We've got wires being, well, we don't have any wires being made yet because we haven't got to that point yet. So now for wires. Oh, let's go ahead and let's get some wires going. All right, so wires, wires, wires. And actually we're gonna have gears in here too. So gears, wires and gears, wires and gears. Okay, so now I'm not 100% sure what we need beyond gears. So let me actually look in here. Okay, so actually, no, we do. Gears need to be made into... Oh, copper wire needs to be made into electrical parts. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get this set up. Let's just get this set up for the next thing. So I think the next thing is probably going to be... Um, we probably should go ahead and get another advanced constructor built. Because we're going to need it to make electronic parts and then probably metal frames eventually in the future i don't want to add any more to this machine this machine is already uh it's already working on a whole bunch of stuff we've already got things going it's it's good this machine's good i don't want to do any more for it so we're gonna do another constructor to focus on electrical parts uh metal frame maybe once we get to that because these are both wires so i mean why not so let's go ahead and let's get another one of these in here let's see how does that look so input there, input there, output there. There's that, there's those. Okay, that actually looks fine. Now what we need to do is basically the same thing with this, um, with just the outputs of these items, which is only these four. So that should work fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically set up this system right here again to go over here and to pass everything into this. So that way it can make, uh, let's get rid of these because we're not doing those. We are making this and we eventually will be making metal frame. However, we don't have these titanium rods yet. So I'm not worried about that. So those are the only items going to be going in there for now. Honestly, for now, we're not even making metal frame, but I'm going to put it on there so I don't forget. Okay, so this side's a little bit easier uh, because what we're doing is we're only making... Oh, hold on a second. We don't need screws here. Okay, so actually the pusher, we're gonna put two things on the pusher here. <laughs> okay, so essentially what we're doing is belts coming out. If it is gold wire or screws, they're gonna get pushed. Hold on a second. Screws are needed to make gears. Are they not? Where is that at? Screws are gonna be made into gears here. Oh yeah, so there should be no screws coming out. There should only be gears. So gears are gonna go into the gear. Okay, all right. Wait, hold on. Gears are needed to make. Okay, never mind. This one is not gonna be in. There. It's gonna be gears. Those are just gonna go into storage for now. Once we have a reason to to make stuff with them, then we'll figure that out. But for now, that'll work. Um, so all I need to do is to actually throw a belt in here. That should work. Things should start coming out. Um, if it's any of those, if it's if it's copper or iron wire, or steel wire, whatever, copper wire or wire, it's gonna go into here. And then if it's any of the other things, it's going to go in here, bypass this, go into this, go into storage belt. <laughs> so that should work. And let's go ahead and get this powered up. Okay, so that looks pretty good. It looks like it looks like we're doing things. It looks like we're doing things. Actually, how's our storage thing in here? Do we have like a variety of stuff? Look at that. We've got some plates. We've got some rods. We've got some wire in here. We don't have any gold plates yet, though. Um, oh, it's because they're all stuck in here. Hmm... Okay, did we get that advanced logistics unlocked or no? Oh, we did. Okay, good. Um, we need to get these belts upgraded because once they start splitting, they should be able to keep up a little bit faster. We could probably go ahead and upgrade those belts. Honestly, we should probably do be doing all the belts, but is there a way to upgrade? Like if I just, can I just upgrade these? 
course, the problem is I don't think I have enough stuff to upgrade these. No, not really. You know what? I gotta. We gotta upgrade all these and these. Because that's like the main throughput, and that's got to be upgraded. We got. We gotta have a faster build here. There we go. Okay. That should hopefully unload. Yes. Okay. It's actually looking like it's starting to unload stuff now. I think that'll be okay. Well, actually, let's just go ahead and do a test. Let's grab all those. Screws, plates. Let's grab all that. And then let's throw in the oh geez okay let's just do half the plates let's do those half of those half of these and then half of these actually it can be all the gold i don't even care now is it keeping up in here oh it actually well is it keeping up i mean it kind of is Kind of is. That yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, it's keeping up. Okay, cool. Uh, now this, <laughs> this on the other hand is probably not keeping up. All right, so I want to actually go ahead and dump some stuff in here. Let's just dump all of that. Because once these are in base storage like this, oh wait, hold on, this is player inventory. Oh darn it! This means we have access to all these materials like while we're out doing whatever. So that's why I kind of want to make sure that we have all these available so we can go out and build. Holy moly, things are going good here. I like it. I like what we got going. Um, titanium ore be made into titanium rods. Oh snap! Ooh, titanium ore straight to titanium rods, huh? We don't have titanium. Okay, so I guess let's go ahead and mark titanium on these guys. I really should probably go over there and upgrade those. This system all looks good. I think this system looks great. And you know what I actually was thinking about doing here? Let's go ahead and try this. Is let's do a floor. Let's do a matching floor, right? So if I wanted to do, say, right here... Can we cover all of this to the point where you can't actually even see the belts? The reason I'm wondering is because it would make traversing of this stuff a lot easier. It's so like if we just did this and basically had It's like cutting off half the machines though. I don't want to do that. I don't I want I don't want to like no clip, but like having the machine stick out, that's kind of You know what I mean? Does that does that look better or does that look worse? Cause we could always put um we could always do walls too, so I could do a wall, we could do like a um hmm. Oh we could do like a wall fence. That actually might be kinda cool looking if we could kinda see. So if we did something like that. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Do you think this looks better or do you think we should just leave it like it was? Because uh, we could put... I mean... I mean, we, we could... We could throw this like this. But like, I don't... I just feel like that just doesn't look quite right. I mean, we can still access it. And if we're not... If we're, we could still walk on here. Just kind of weird that a no clips. I mean, I like it, but I don't. What do you leave a comment down below? Let me know what you think. I I'm just I don't know. I mean, the no clip actually looks really nice. 
but i also feel like this this like little section this like little rim right here around the machine also looks nice too so like if we grabbed hold on here's here's the two examples here one where it has like a perfectly rectangular thing around it which i think i'm kind of leaning towards this because i feel like this just doesn't look right you know what i mean like i feel like that looks better built in the floor and then i actually <laughs> i actually really like this like mesh side so you can still see the stuff underneath that's actually pretty cool I don't know. Let me know what you think. I think it looks kind of neat, but I was actually thinking about doing the whole, this whole thing, this whole floor right here, kind of the same deal, putting the mesh around the sides, throwing this all underground underneath. So that way you can't really see anything, but you can see the tops of the machines kind of poking out. You know what I'm saying? So let me know. Um, okay. So that's all looking good. Everything here is looking pretty good. We've got, um, we got wire coming in. We got wire going out this way. So now what we need to do, I, I'm not gonna, I'm, I feel like I should just leave this in here for now. I don't think we have any do we have titanium yet um oh snap we have titanium okay let's get titanium on this one we'll leave this one's gold i feel like we should probably go ahead and start uh mixing and matching all of the we should get more of these out here i think we'll focus on that in the next episode um expanding our planetary side this stuff but everything else is looking good we need more rods so if i go into here how many rods do we have we have 90 if I split those, I'm going to put half of them back in here. I'm going to go in here and we'll go ahead and grab those. And then, oh, we needed to, to check on our miner. This guy. How did you do? 36 and 8. Terrible. <laughs> Absolutely awful. Oh, man. I, I don't know. I don't know about the miner. But we can go ahead and throw that in here and then... I know I need the glass, so well, ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on a second. There's 13. We might need to keep our astronaut fed. I'm gonna split these. You know what? No, I'm gonna just let him. I'm gonna let the astronaut be fed. Make sure it's good. Um, so yeah, we've got a whole bunch of fun things to do. I want to redo this wiring too. I want to have all this wiring under the bottom, and I want to have it looking a little bit more organized, like this. I think. Yeah, this feels pretty good. The only thing we don't have coming out of here is the carbon fiber. And I just don't know what I need with it yet. Same with this. Oh, this, I know, you know what? Actually, I know what we need with this. This needs to turn into, um, that needs to turn into computer parts, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, electronic parts into motherboards. So we'll have to get that stuff going eventually, but. Uh, yeah, this is our new kind of thing. It's it looks a little bit different It's not as clean and organized, but it's more efficient and it's actually doing what I needed to do um, I was reading through the comments and I saw a bunch of comments and I was like, you know what? Uh, everybody was right. I, I had I, the, the storage idea just didn't work. It just wasn't working for what I needed, you know There was no reason to store everything in, bet in between like cycles the machines have plenty of storage I saw that comment multiple times that the machines like they have plenty of storage. They can store a lot of stuff. Um, so, yeah, we needed to make sure that happened. And then, actually, <laughs> we need to get power going, too. Um, I need basically all this. And we need to throw some more power in here. Um, basically, I want to throw solar panels against uh, these wings on each side here. And then I actually want to throw some walls in around these, too. So, But that'll be the next episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Uh, and I will see you in another exciting adventure on Astronaut Colony.